Dear students, welcome to my channel. In previous video, I have already explained the theory of linear regression and the derivation of linear regression by least square method. In this video, we are going to solve the linear regression exercises. Let us start. Before solving the example, you have to remember this equation of beta 0 and beta 1 parameter. Try to remember these equations. Now this example, first we always find out the parameters by using our historical data that is nothing but regress to look back in the previous data. Now this is x is independent variable and y is de dependent variable. Now number of records are 4. Now here based on this equation we require to first, and first find out the beta 1 and from the beta 1 we can calculate the beta 0. Now here when we observe the equation of beta 1 we can find out we require the summation of x y so here x and y and x y is taken so x y is nothing but simply multiplication of x into y and after that summation is taken y bar is nothing but average we can easily find out y bar here that is nothing but average of 1367 which is equal to 4.25 average of y bar uh, average, sorry, average of x bar and average of y bar we can easily find out from the x and y and here n is nothing but the number of samples that is nothing but 4 if we take the denominator we can find out that x i square now here we are making the square of the x term and we require the summation from that which is nothing but 95 after that this n is 4 and x bar is nothing but average of average of x is average of x square so which is already calculated the x bar and we have to just make the square so in this way it is very easy to calculate the problem so first you require to create only four columns and when you write down the x and y at the same time you calculate their averages x bar and y bar and after that we just require to put this value now here summation of x y is 315 minus 4 total number of sample this is the average of x and y then this is the summation of x i square minus 4 samples and this is nothing but the average of x square which is we are getting the 2.82 now <coughs> from when once we get the beta 1 we can calculate the beta 0 beta 0 is equal to y bar minus beta 1 x bar y bar and beta bar we already calculated and we are getting beta 0 as 2.7650 <coughs> Now this is our original that is x and y. This is nothing but the y hat because whatever that is beta 0 and beta 1 that is nothing but we predicted the line. So this is the red line is nothing but the prediction line that we predicted that is based on finding the beta 0 and beta 1. That is why we will put the value of x into this equation that is, uh, y, is y hat is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x. So we are putting the value of x into that with respect to beta 1 and beta 0 and we are getting the value and we can find out that difference between this y and y hat so these are nothing but the original value and these are the values which is predicted by our model so now this is 6 5.5 i am taking simply absolute difference so error is of 0 0.41 now here we can observe that for example when x is 1 y is 6 and the difference is very small and you can find out that they are very closed next difference is of 1.123 next difference is more you can easily see that and difference is again more so this is nothing but what this blue line is nothing but actually our data and this is red line is nothing but prediction line and it will try to map the data so that maximum point will close to that prediction line second example for simplicity i have taken a small value so that you can easily understand the calculation also so first when the data comes we require to just mix xy xy and x square we have to take the summation of this summation of this and this for this column and for this column we require to take the average so now x bar is equal to 3.0 y bar 3.5 summation of xy is 45 and summation of x square is 64 we require to just put the value into the equation of beta 1 so when we put the value of beta 1 we are getting minus 1.8 now here minus 1.8 indicate the slope is negative so line shape is like this when it is positive it is in this direction it is in this direction but as negative is there 
means one increases and second decreases so we are getting the line like this and from the beta 1 we calculate the beta 0 now here this is nothing but the original values and these are the values which is predicted by a model and we can find out that error error is there but uh, the error factor is small but still error is there with every because not a single point will map to that uh, get pointed on that prediction line so errors are there but compared to first problem here the error is more that's why we require to decide variety type of measuring performance whether that the output of regression is okay or not let us see the third example here five samples are there first we require to calculate the x bar y bar four columns first is x y is we already calculate the x bar y bar third is x y summation of x y x square summation of x square terms put the values into the beta 1 that's why you have to remember the equation then we are getting the slope as 1.6 again slope is positive so we are getting the line in this direction after that we are getting the beta 0 which is equal to 1.8 now here we can find out that this line and the line on the point on the line prediction line and the sample they are matching so error is 0 here we can easily locate that so these are our original y values and our model predicts this value based on our beta 0 and beta 1 parameter and here we are getting the error like this last example five samples are there again the table with four columns x and y calculate x bar y bar x y multiplication then there is summation x square calculate and then summation and we require to put this value into the beta 1 equation so beta 1 we are getting the 0.75 again slope is positive and once beta 1 knows we can easily calculate the beta 0 which is equal to 3 so this is nothing but the original values of y and these are the values of predicted by our model and we can find out that this again intersect with each other because error is 0 so point matches of the predicted line and the uh, original sample and here again the they are same so error is 0 so this is nothing but the linear regression it will based on our historical data it will look into that data and based on that it will predict this line and when the new sample comes we just require to put the value of x as we know already beta 0 and beta 1 and we can predict the value of y so this is nothing but all about linear regression so in the next video uh, maybe i will take that uh, regression in terms of correlation that is x on y and y on x after that again regression by the gradient descent method then uh, linear regression with r square and adjusted r square thank you